Hey there flippers and welcome back to Second Life Treasures. So it's another early morning. It is a bit earlier than normal. It is quarter past four and yet we are all here ready to go for Sunday Boot Fair. There's a couple of couple of people here already so I'm going to just get straight to it this morning, get you mounted to the backpack and then we'll see what we can find. Sketches. Pardon? How much you have the most? Uh, four pounds. Four pounds? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll grab them. Yeah. 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 Hey, how much are you after for the games? Well, it's helped cut. Crap. Men's eyes are looking. Hey. See him over there. Oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> all right. You got any um, remote Wii remote control? There's a couple in there. I've got the whole black system. one if possible. Well, I've got the whole system in here. Oh. Got a black lunch up. I've got the whole lot there. Yeah. It's actually, I was going to spend one day, but. How much you do for a lot? What, the game and all? Game, what? system, everything. 50 quid. 50? Yeah. Thank you. What is that? That's a car pump. Oh, oh a car pump. Oh, okay. I need to get one. Um, I'm looking for a morning jet. I think I saw one. So, with the bind, I'm very careful. I need one I'll grab all them. Yeah, well, my so there's eight pounds worth there. How much are they? So 50p a game. Oh. Well, yeah. Oh, mate. Oh, sorry. Really Got it. You right there? What's your from those ones? They're fiver. Fiver? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know where the other one would be? <laughs> Thank you. Ah, you getting it? Cheers, mate. Oh. They were expensive.
Yeah, I'll grab them. Three quid. Yeah. yeah, I'll take them. You right there? Yeah. You might have a close shit. The train was just there. Did you want for them? Four pounds. Yeah, go for it. Oh, mate, what's you having that? Pound. Pound? Yeah. Yeah, I'll have that. Been you again, you've said it all the time. <laughs> Cups, mate. Um, two pounds each. Two How much? Two pounds each. Two pounds each. Uh, yeah, go on, I'll grab them. Yeah. There you go, mate. Oh, <laughs> Alright, got it. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Yeah, mine's always having them. Huh? Huh? No. Yeah, man, what's happening? Five. Five. Five, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go on then. Yeah. 
You right, how much have you got in your shoes? Uh, ten. Ten for them. What about these two? Ten for those. Those as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. Alright, thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, so we are back from the boot fair and yeah, it's half and half today, I think. Um, as you can see, there's not a lot of variety in what we've picked up today. Uh, very sort of shoes and gaming focused uh, with a couple of little bits scattered in. But let's dive straight in and we will have a look. So... The first pickup we've got is the Skechers Go Walk 2. We paid £4 for those, and those will sell for about £30, which is really good. Then we managed to land a massive bundle of Nintendo Wii games. So we picked up that Nintendo Wii the other week. So some of these games would be quite good to bundle in with that. Um, so what have we got? We've got Just Dance 1, which isn't worth a lot, so that will get bundled in. Donkey Kong Country Returns, that would be a good one. That's £7. So that would make... Uh, uh, we paid 50p each for these, sorry. Um, <clears throat> so we'd make £3.50 profit off that one. Uh, what else have we got? <clears throat> uh, we Play, that's not a very... Uh, doesn't really sell well, so... Potentially those two can be bundled in. Um, Sonic and Mario, Limited, Guinness World Records. So there's quite a few there that we could probably bundle in with that Wii and actually make more money. And I mean, on average, 89p, 89p, 2p. Uh, Epic Mickey will go for one pound, or sell. Uh, we'll get a profit of one pound twenty-six. So yeah. Not a massive amount of profit off some most of those games. Obviously, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Yes, there is profit in that one. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, I think the only other one... Yeah, no, sorry. So, uh, Epic Mickey's 89p profit. Uh, the Rayman Raving Rabbits. Uh, so, where have we got them? The two right at the bottom, uh, towards the bottom there. They're £1.26. So, to be quite honest, I probably actually will end up putting most of these in with that uh, Wii bundle. But we'll just see. Uh, then, after that, we have got probably one of our best trainer pickups ever. <laughs> so, we've got the Nike Air Vapor Max uh, 2020. Uh, these are Fly Knit Team Red. They're a size 7. Now, I paid a fiver for these. And I was pulled up by uh, someone that watches the channel uh, a bit later on in the day. And they asked me how much I paid for them. And yeah, when I said that I paid a fiver for them, they were like, you've really done, you've re you're going to make a load of money on them. Uh, because I've got a pair, or the wife's got, I think it was his wife had a pair. Um, and he paid quite a bit for them. So I uh, got home, had a look. And yeah, they're selling for about £110. Um, so this will actually be the first pair of trainers that I've ever had that I'll have to send in to the eBay um, validation scheme. So what they do is for trainers that are over £100, you, when you sell them, you basically send them to eBay. eBay then verify them, verify that they're real, before then sending them on to the buyer. And then if uh, the buyer returns them, they have to be returned to eBay eBay will then validate them again before then returning them to me. So, yeah, it'll be quite an interesting one, that one. 
Um, so yeah, paid a fiver for them. They'll sell for about £110. So after it's all said and done, um, it'll be about £80 profit we'll make on them, which will be really good. Uh, then we've got... What have we got? Uh, oh, it's the Nike baseball cap. So it's the Nike Blue Heritage 86 baseball cap. Uh, we paid £2 for this, and they'll sell, it'll sell for about £14, which is about £6 profit. And then right next to that, we've got the Tommy Hilfiger green baseball cap. Once again, paid £2 for that, and that will go for about £15. Uh, then we've got... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so it is the Nike... Uh, Superfly 7 Club TF. Uh, these are AstroTurf trainers. Uh, we paid... What did we pay for these? We paid a fiver for these. These were only sell for about £18. So I was really disappointed with these. Um, so that will be about a £6 profit once it's all said and done. Uh, then we've got a pair of Air Jordan Future. Uh, these are in a size 5. We paid £10 for these. Uh, they should sell for about £50. Uh, which would be a £28 profit. Then at the back there, carrying on with our Nintendo Wii theme, we've got a Guitar Hero um, guitar. Uh, so this is for the Nintendo Wii. You can tell it's for the Wii because of the little attachment window just there. Uh, paid a pound for this one. Uh, looking it up online, it'll go for about £15. So once all said and done, I'll get about £8 profit off that one. <coughs> Then we've got another pair of Nike Air Force Ones. Uh, these are the 07 Oracle Pink. Uh, paid £4 for these. And as per normal, £40 for a pair of Nike, uh, for the Nike Air Force Ones. So yeah, not too bad on them. And then we've got the Skechers Bob Squad Total Glam Trainer. <laughs> Bit of a mouthful. But if you actually have a look, there is what we will class as bling. <laughs> in the trainer so it's like a, a glitter uh, glitter effect within the trainer paid three pounds for these they sell for about 30 pounds and then coming on to the last few items we've got the kodak advantax uh 1600 auto camera uh paid a pound for this only sells for about eight pounds um so it'll only be about a two pound profit once all said and done um but they tend to they tend to be sort of easy to sell so I don't mind picking them up. Then at the back there, we've got the World of Warcraft Atlas. Um, now, I'll be honest, even though I am a games collector, I have never played any of the World of Warcraft games. Um, now, whether that means I should be hung, drawn and quartered, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, ended up paying £3 for this. Had to sort of barter a bit with the seller. Um, it sells for about £15. Um, and that would land us a £6.31p profit. And then the final pickup for today is the 60 litre camo army backpack. Um, and this is essentially army surplus. Um, so there's no, um, it was actually issued sort of to uh, army or um, air cadets or something like that. Um, I know I had something similar when I was in the air cadets. Um, <clears throat> picked it up for £3. Um, the prices for these are all over the shop. Um, there are some as low as 20. There are others that are selling for over 100. Um, so I've looking at some of them, I've put a £40 price tag on this. Um, so that would be a £27 profit. Um, but I'm going to do a bit more research off camera um, and see if I can find out, sort of get a bit more insight into yeah, what I can sell this for. So that is all of the pickups from today's boot fair. So let's switch over to the other camera and then we'll have a quick run through the totals before wrapping up the video. So those are the pickups from another amazing Sunday boot fair. But before we wrap up the video, let's quickly run through the totals um, and see how we did. So our total spend today was 47 pounds exactly. Total predicted sale price is gonna be 412 pounds. And that would land us an expected profit of £238.99p, which is really, really good. Um, I'm always chuffed now with the uh, the profits. Um, I think since probably about 
six or seven weeks, or about, no, about four or five weeks into the season this year, uh, we've maintained a really good profit for all of the boot fairs that we do. Obviously, we are now going to the Sunday boot fair a lot earlier, um, and I think we've got, after this one, there's another, there's two more boot fair videos that I've filmed, so we've got them coming up. But before we wrap up the video, let's quickly run through the breakdown for today's video. So we spent an hour, uh, three hours, an hour would be nice, <laughs> three hours and five minutes at the boot fair. Uh, we've got 19 items to list, so at six minutes per item, we've got a total uh, listing time of uh, an hour and 36 minutes, and that's a total time investment of four hours and 41 minutes, which works out at a per hour profit, or per hour potential profit, of 51 pounds and 3p which is pretty much exactly where i like to be uh anything around 50 pounds an hour mark is really really good so with that we have come to the end of another boot fair video so before you head off if you did enjoy the video don't forget to hit that like button and if you're not already smash that subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when i upload videos just like this and yeah, with that said, thank you so, so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.